I would like to thank Joanne Wolf and Lester Groff for assisting us this morning in this time of worship. I would like this morning to have a few thoughts around the word joy. I recently watched parts of the recent two political conventions. In one convention, the word joy was stated many times. Some speakers attempted to explain why this political event this time was so joyful. A couple of speakers stated they had pastoral backgrounds and then quoted Psalm 35, weeping is in the night, but joy comes in the morning. I reflected on why a political event would talk about joy. Is joy an expression that we can experience when we simply desire it? Or can we manufacture it? I began to reflect on how a political party was now talking about joy as part of a political experience. Are they taking our Christian experience of joy into the political arena? Our experience of joy should be an expression of our life as followers of Jesus and experiences of living as persons who know the life in the Spirit of God. Not simply because a political leader expresses joy over a political process. I think it's good for persons to express the word joy, but not to replace the joy that we as followers of Jesus share and experience. Recently, the congregation I am a member of studied a series of sermons on the fruit of the Spirit from Galatians 5, 22 to 26. The second fruit that is mentioned is joy. It follows the first one, which is love. Love, joy, and it moves on. I'd like to read the fruit of the Spirit from Galatians 5, 16 to 18. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the spirit, and what the spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not subject to the law. By contrast, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. And those who belong in Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, competing against one another, envying one another. The fruit of the Spirit comes out of our life as Christians and followers of Jesus. The fruit of the Spirit should be expressions of all of our life and stand in contrast to the many experiences that society expresses. I note that in Galatians 5, some of them are noted like jealousy and uh, anger and quarrels and dissensions. Rather than having these experiences be expressed in our Christian life, we are to, in opposition to that, live by and express the fruits of the Spirit, especially as I've noted here, love and joy and all these others. If we as followers of Jesus in society today show the fruit of the Spirit day by day in our lives, that should speak to some of the pain and hurt that we feel and hear in our society. Day by day, we should express 
the inner joy and express it outwardly in our life. As followers of Jesus, we should show the world that true joy comes from a relationship with Jesus and guided by the Spirit of Christ. And so this morning, I would like to stress again that joy comes from our inward part of being with and accepting Jesus as Savior and Lord. And then we express that as a sign to the world how God would have us to live and how God would hope that more people come to a relationship with Jesus, which produces real joy. As one way of understanding this, I would like to read a couple of verses from a hymn that reminds me again of how we should express joy in our life. And that hymn is as follows. Come we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord Join in a song with sweet accord and thus surround the throne. The second verse then tells how we share it. Let those refuse to sing who never knew our God, but children of the heavenly king, but children of the heavenly king may speak their joys abroad. This song reminds me again that as we experience our love for the Lord, which again, love is one of the fruits, we then express our joys, make them known, but we make them known to the world around us. Our joys should be shared with others. It is not always easy for me to understand here at Landis Homes how we experience and express joy. But I would like to challenge us that as we go about our daily life here, that people here at the home, but those who come and go around us may see that we have the joy of the Lord in our lives and that we express the fruit of the Spirit in all of life here rather than some of the other actions that are listed here, which are not from the fruit of the Spirit. So let us this morning find ways to express love and joy and the other fruits. Let us pray together. Almighty God, I give you thanks now for this new day, this day which is a gift from you, our God, to enjoy and to live. I too thank you that as we live throughout this day, we can experience the joy of the fruit of the Spirit and that we can express this joy here at the home as well as in our community. Let us express real joy that comes out of our love for you and your love for us. Grant us your peace and joy throughout the day. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>
Thank you.